Leo, how you doing? Okay, so this is for your first half of April, pretty much coming around to everybody. I'm trying to get there as quick as I can because I've got holiday. So if you would like a private reading, I'll still do those, but if you'd like a private reading, please email me. Everything's in the description. Okay, everything is pretty much the same as the monthlies is what happened, same kind of approach. But all this kind of clarifying stuff and the things that I'm going to ask will be over on Vimeo and it'll be in the bi-weekly under the bi-weekly extended readings okay guys so you still have an option of buying the three month package for three month access okay or you still or just um, just to see the rest of the reading but there are options there over on Vimeo and it's all in the description okay so uh, so let's have a look so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the question over on Vimeo what is going on with the person that your intent is for so the person that you're thinking about mainly I'm going to ask the question over there after clarifying everything and that we've done with the reading is what is going on in their life and what are they thinking and what they're feeling and pretty much what's going through their mind. If you are involved in some kind of drama, kind of third party kind of situation, not saying you are, but if you are, that has been coming out in readings. So that will give you some information of what's going on in their life. And if they're if they are being deceptive, if you are dealing with someone that's deceptive, hopefully that will come out in that reading and you can hopefully kind of connect onto that energy and find out and give you the information of what it is that you may be seeking okay so let's have a see so this is for the first half of april so someone could be leaving or has left someone's left or is leaving this could be well this could be a um this could be literally anything leo but it's kind of like someone has has left like elvis has left the building so let's see so someone's emotionally stuck, and that's probably why someone has left. This is like stubbornness. Someone's completely stubborn, and that could be what the reason why you or they have walked away from you, or you've walked away from them. Uh, could be involving an Aries. I'm picking up Aries, um, or water sign with water in their chart. Could also be maybe an Aquarius, Virgo, um, Aquarius or Virgo, Aries or water sign. You've got earth sign, but someone that's emotionally blocked, physically blocked and stubborn and not moving, not moving. And that's kind of, mm, let's see, not moving. OK, yeah. <clears throat> so someone could be someone could be um, emotionally ill. I'm picking up someone could be emotionally ill uh, or if it's to do with if it's to do with work or something, it's just not moving. You're just sick to death of your job and you're trying to find another one. You're trying to pick which what choice to do, but everything just seems to be stuck at the moment. We are coming out of Pisces retrograde. We have got a shadow period, a shadow period that goes on until like the 14th, 15th, I think. So, but generally, this is someone trying to decide. This is it's like a darkness. This is this is the one of the most important cards in the deck outside of the major arcana because this is the the wheel of fortune of your destiny of karma okay so pretty much this is your north and south node or your astrology wheel because of choice okay so it can be bad choice or good choice but it's option but it's also a darkness that that is within somebody that's keeping something blocked it's like there's someone standing in your way of happiness um someone's someone could have just been leaving because people are just too I'm not really sure. It's kind of like someone's really stubborn and stuck in their way and they're just not, they're not, I mean, this can be you, Leo. I mean, it doesn't mean anything, but it just means your karma. This is like also your soul groups of people, okay? So this can relate to family in Toriated stuff of where people can be ill and it keeps you stuck. Your soul groups of people, if you're interested in love and you're interested in anything in life, your soul groups of people actually show you a lot about yourself of what it is that you can't see reflecting back to you of choice. Okay, because there's there's residual karma. This to me is my life path number, but this is karma. Okay, this is something that needs dealing with because you're always the best option, but people always try to pick an option over you. Okay, which leaves you in the dark of where, well, there's something in my way. There's something that needs dealing with and it's like a darkness at the moment I'm feeling because it's blocking there's some kind of block it's like an emotional block a physical block or an illness some kind of um, decision that needs to be made and that's why things are stuck and that you probably feel that you can't get to your partner maybe you know this can also relate to narcissism because this is like the low vibration of what I always try to teach people about resonance of your actual vibrational soul of what is come here to do in order to guide and help people through Resonance of vibration, you know, dark attracts dark and like attracts like, okay? It's very important to realise that if you don't like yourself enough, or well, it doesn't even matter. 
it matters about your vibration. When we're connected to people karmically, okay, karmically within soul groups or anything like that, when they're connected to us, it's like this piggyback. It's like a piggyback ride that um, rides itself through ascension through you. So it's your soul groups of people that you've met before in a past life. You've met them, you know, I'm clairvoyant. So if you believe in that, you do. If you don't, you don't. And I can't make you, but, you know, this is like the piggyback rider of ascension. It comes through a timeline to pretty much, you know, what you've done to one does to another. And now if this applies to family and soul group kind of love intoriated things, this is why things can get very static in the mind and confused because they're, you, you will always feel like someone else is to blame, that you need to help people in order to get them further on their path to be with you, maybe, you know, it, it just depends. If it's soul groups and family and Tory 8 stuff that people are in the way, you want something to be released. So it brings in where people will stop being so emotionally guarded and blocked. And then it won't, because this can happen so many times when you walk away in life. You know, this is not a major arcana. This is just like a, a thought and a feeling of actually leaving. Or someone around you is actually leaving and you're just probably going to miss them. But you're stuck at home feeling emotionally blocked over someone probably picking a different choice between you maybe or you them you know well there you go someone is sick someone is i mean this can be uh, you know i just give out the reason someone could be emotionally physically sick or mentally ill mentally ill you know um because this is like a darkness this is like fearing abandonment but if this is to do with soul groups of people this is like a pattern that seems to have gone on for like quite a few years, quite a few years internally, internally where I mean as a, a Leo, you know, you're uh, emotionally, uh, not emotionally, but you're like a fixed sign. So, you know, this can be you where um, it's very hard to, in order to open up maybe, or it does depend because this is like a low vibration, something here that um, can relate to narcissism. It's where people can just come and go, make a decision over you or you them, you know, no shade, but <laughs> no shade. But um, make a decision over you and then come back and leave you out in the cold and then just do it again and I've got many options so I'll just pick you I like pretty much and I'll come back and I'll leave you in the cold and then I'll leave you emotionally blocked where you've got no idea and you walk away and then oh now here you come again and now I'm blocked and guarded and now I blame you for doing it to me because you picked something over me when you should have picked me but you kept me confused and now I don't know and now I feel left out in the cold. And if that relates to narcissism, that's pretty much what that is, because that's a dark energy that follows people. It's a low vibration. Okay, so if you're a decent, if you're a decently good human being, you learn through that ability that knowing that dark people, dark people, and um, low vibrational entities, they form in many different patterns where um, it can play relate to narcissism of um, the mind. You know, the mind, because this is a cycle of the mind. Is where people. You might be trying to give people um, emotional support or um, financial support. Yeah, and it's taken a lot of strength. So here you are, Leo, here. So you're facing someone that is probably facing, um, like, um, what do you call it? Uh, emotionally broke, but um, kind of like financial support. Needs financial support of making decisions over something. Over something that's dark and where they're trying to make a decision to actually move forward. But they can't because they're blocked. And it could be because they're... Um, because they're emotionally blocked, they're now blocked from doing things at work. And it's bringing in some kind of same pattern again where it's playing out where someone is constantly relying on you for support. For support. And it can be draining your energy. And that's why you uh, return, returning, trying to return again to do the same thing. But this is just a pattern within these first few cards I'm picking up. You know, someone, someone needs emotional support emotional support and probably um, financial support also. They're holding on to what they have. If it's like um, family and stuff, they're holding on to that like resentment and blame and they're holding on to it because they, if it's to do with children and stuff, they're keeping hold of them, but they're trying to make a choice, or you are, but because they also need, um, because of someone being sick, but they also need financial support financial support and also emotional support because someone's just left so sorry but someone could have left a third party situation and now now everybody's kind of like in a state and days of like well, what the fuck Pisces retrograde maybe now people are making trying to make wiser choices and different options things may start to speed up through the progression of the reading not really sure but it, there's a choice that needs to be made um, because someone's ill 
pretty much. It could have to do with drugs and alcohol, um, it, or it could just be like um, an emotional illness or um, uh, heart, 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 heart to heart conversations I'm picking up. So it might have something to do with a heart. Um, being restricted is, is what I'm picking up. I'm feeling like a restriction entity, uh, uh, entity, entity, restriction entity. The entity. Watch the film The Entity. A long time ago that was. The Entity. I don't know. I can't remember what that was about. The Entity. Um, someone. It's like someone's got the darkness around them. Like um, so. They definitely need clearing. So please clear your energy. Sage. Sage is definitely needed. Hmm. It's like someone's trying to pull someone back, like like walk backwards through time to do it again. Oh, here we go again. Go back again. Now you're blocked and you're now you're just trying to decide and they've 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 got some kind of darkness around them and it's just it's a pattern again of the same. Cause it's like strength to walk away again, but just something in the middle of something. Stuck in the middle of you. Stuck in the middle of you. But I don't know why I came here tonight I got the feeling that something ain't right I'm so scared in case I fall off my chair And I'm wondering how I get down the stairs Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right Here we are, stuck in the middle with you And I'm going extremely cold, so that could be your song Stuck in the middle with you, Leo because um, that's a five, so there could be many people involved in this. You know, there could be many people involved. Okay, so over on Vimeo, like I said, I'll do the rest of these cards. Okay, channel as much as I can. I'm a channel, I'm a spirit messenger, and a guide to help people through their comic pattern of choice. This is my life path number of seven, so this is why I always wear black. <laughs> Try to keep people out of that and pull this darkness out of them and shake it in front of their face to make them have a look at the fear and see what that is inside them. Pain is something that we grow from. It's nothing that we give in to temptation. You know, We need that darkness pulling out of us in order to take a look to see if we need to be involved within it. If it's not, if, if it is, it pulls you back. Pulls you back in ascension. You know, So that's option and choice pretty much of past life and also the future of you, you know, and future of you. You're always the best choice to, to make a decision on um, internal happiness and decision. You know, you can never make decisions over people and come and go out of their lives because what goes around comes around through many different timelines. Many different timelines, Leo. Okay, so like I said, over on Vimeo, I will also ask the question, um, what is going on in their life and what they're thinking and what they're feeling, what's going on with them. If you're involved in different kind of parties and triangles, then you're going to have to kind of relate to that because that can, I'll try and channel what I can, you know, but um, and give you what stories I can through that. But um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But like I said, that will be in the description and it's under the bi-weeklies, you know, and um, yeah, hopefully I will catch you on the flip side and I'll see you soon. Peace.